பண்ணுங்க
you know, and, and being put in a situation where I got to face the consequences of my choices. And, you know, we all just got to learn that. You get what I'm saying? We all got to learn that. And uh, I hope that y'all vibing with me too, man, because I know a lot of y'all probably return was hoping that I would be making a beat right now, but, you know, God kind of led me a different direction with this, man, because I want, I want this platform here to be more than just y'all coming and watching me make a beat. You know, I want y'all to get to know me, you know what I'm saying, outside of being a producer. I just recently had a, a close friend, a mentor, a brother, pass away, unfortunately. And, you know, since I got that news, our last conversation that we recently had, you know, has just been playing over and over and over in my head. Life is too short to not chase everything that you want. If you got a goal, a dream, an idea, anything, man, like, make that shit happen, man. You know, a lot of times we do plan for a lot of things, man. We set out this whole agenda about what we finna doing in life, hit you with a whole curveball. You feel what I'm saying? So, there's no better time to do what it is that you love or to start on a new venture or a dream or a goal or whatever than now. Now is the best time for it. Because the more and more you keep it up here, it just become a memory. Don't let those things pass you by, man. Anytime you get an idea, man, that shit is heaven sent, man. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times things pop up in your mind for a reason, man. But time, time is everything. You know, time is everything. Especially with your loved ones, you know, um, I, I ain't gonna lie, man, and, and, and my family about for this, man, I would go out my way to tell somebody I love. Especially if I genuinely care about you, I will go out my way to tell you. But if there's anything that y'all learn from coming to this channel and tuning in to this show, one thing I want y'all to take away, man, is take like one second at a time and always continue to be a sponge. You know, continue to be a sponge, man. And, you know, rest in peace to my good friend Jerry, man, because uh, I, I, can't, I can't even front. He fucked me up with this, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, anytime you recently just spoke with someone and had a conversation with them and then something like this happened, man, it's going to hit you. It's going to stick. No matter how tough you it is, no matter what it is, it's going to stick, man. And this one definitely hit me. You know, man, if it wasn't for him, man, like, I, I, I couldn't even tell you where my life would be at, man. He provided opportunities for me to be able to take care of my family in ways that nobody ever, you know what I'm saying, gave me the opportunity to do. You see what I'm saying? You know, he opened doors for me, man. Like, he, he taught me a lot of things. And one of the things that, one message and one lesson that he always brought up all the time was picking and choosing your battles. And, he, and every time, whenever he get ready to tell me that, he say, man, I hate to say this, man, I hate to say this, but you got to learn to pick and choose your battles. And at the end of the day, man, this is something that's very vital when it comes down to life, man, because every battle is not worth fighting. But we come from that mentality that, man, we got to react to every fucking thing, man, and you don't. You truly don't. You get what I'm saying? You truly don't. But see, you learn your power once you learn control. When you can master your emotions, that's where you get your power at. I was just having a conversation with my dad not too long ago, man, actually on my ride home. And one of the things, and I always tell him, man, it's always a lesson and a blessing every time I talk to him. But he said something today, man, that really, really stuck with me, man. He said, an emotional man is a dangerous man. Do y'all follow what I'm saying? An emotional man is a dangerous man. We got to always be level-headed. You get what I'm saying? And for me, as an example, when I was young, I had crazy anger issues. Like, crazy anger issues, man. And 
never understood where they came from. You know, I, I would just, and it wasn't like I wake up angry. It's just whenever I get to that level of, of being upset, it's hard for me to turn it off. And I just become violent. Like, I don't know what, to, and it's, it's scary. You see what I'm saying? It's scary. And, you know, one particular day, I got into a situation with my older brother. And we would argue. I never really liked fighting my brothers. You get what I'm saying? Because I genuinely, I love my family, man. I genuinely do. But this particular day, man, we, we just, we just bump heads, man. And instead of me reacting to what was going on and, you know, engaging in a fight with him, I go to punching shit around the house. And before I knew it, man, my mama had just got this china cabinet, man. This brand new china cabinet from Renaissance, man. <laughs> I can laugh about this shit now because, you know, it's, it's a memory. But she had just got this brand new china cabinet and was sitting in the living room. And I'm so angry, man, that I'm punching everything I see from the table to her, her bedroom door to the wall outside of her room. And I take a look straight ahead and I see this china cabinet. Now, as I even replay this back in my mind, I always see everything in slow motion. Granted, you know, during the motion or whatever thing going on, it definitely wasn't in slow motion. But for some reason, my memory always makes this shit in slow motion. Like, I don't understand. But I remember telling myself in that moment, Joel, calm down. Just calm down. But at that point, my soul was saying one thing, but my mind was like enraged. So I see the china cabinet, cop back, punch the china cabinet, and I walked into the room. So as I walked into my room, I started feeling like this warm, cool feeling, like just dripping onto my feet. And so I'm looking like, no, and I happened to look at my right arm, and I had a big ass hole in my arm about like this big, another one about like that big. And I immediately just fell out. Pan I don't know if it was panic or whatever, they say I lost a lot of blood, I almost died, but I just fell out. And I remember coming back to myself and I'm seeing one of my older brother's best friend, Ty Thompson. You know, I'm seeing him kind of like take his shirt off and he's stuffing the shirt inside of the biggest wound in my arm. I'm fading out again. You see what I'm saying? I'm fading out again. And then I remember getting on, I remember I was on like the stretcher or whatnot, and I seen my mom. I remember calling for my mom. But my mom was at work during the time, but I remember by the time I got on the stretcher, like I don't know, I don't know how much time it was or whatever, but I remember seeing my mom. You see what I'm saying? And I fade out again. And long story short, man, like I almost died at the hands of my own anger because I couldn't control myself. I can sit up here and try to place blame at everybody, everybody who was there for my best friend who was in the corner laughing at the whole situation. I could have placed blame on everybody, but ultimately it was me. I've done more harm to myself than any motherfucker ever did. You feel what I'm saying? That's a lesson that I gotta stick with for the rest of my life. Like I still got these scars. I still got these scars to this day. They ain't going nowhere. You feel what I'm saying? That's a constant reminder of what I came from. Now I'm not gonna say from that day forward, I was always, you know, it was all good, you know, I turned my life around. Nah, shit got worse. But at the same time, these are all life lessons that piled up more and more and more and it shaped it and molded me into what y'all see in front of y'all today. And I love the man that I've grown to be. You know, I'm a, I just love the man who I've grown to be, man, because I've seen the stages, every stage of me, I've seen. It. You know, and um, I love what I became. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in with me today and, uh, you know, engaging in this journey with me, you know. Um, this is something that I always talked about doing. I always talked about doing it. And now it's like, you know, man, 
just from all these experiences, man, you know, and talking to people in my life about everything, it's like, there's no better time to do it than now. There's no better time, man, but again, I appreciate y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope that uh, there's a message somewhere in there for somebody, whoever's viewing it, to um, take it. You know, and, um, you know, and just take life one second at a time, man, and continue to be a student of life. Just let your yesterday be the teachers of your tomorrow. You know, and that's gonna take you a long way. You know, because how you carry yourself says a lot about you. The things you do, the things you say says a lot about you. So, man, you know, with much love and much respect, man, it's your boy Santana Bang, man, we signing off. We in the kitchen, but we ain't making no beats today, man. We investing into the mind today. I appreciate y'all, man. Much love to y'all. Take care. I pray that everything that y'all dream about, everything that you think about, any idea that you have, man, do it now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next week. Don't wait till next year. Do it now. And I guarantee you, man, if you start today, you're going to be thanking yourself tomorrow. I appreciate y'all, man. Let's get it. Until next time.